Everybody's obsessed with the Barbie movie. And when I went to go see it, I heard the Dua Lipa song that they released with it. And I was wondering what if it was an indie pop song instead. So I'm giving myself an hour to produce out an indie pop version of it. No, no. All right, we have a little timer here. Boop. All right, so here's what we got. Baby, you can find me under the light. I believe it's in the key of D, which is a strange trend. A lot of Dua Lipa songs are in the key of D. Tune up. Cam Becker just did a breakdown of not the 1975, and he turned me on to this guy, which I see why he likes it. But let's just come up with a chord progression real quick. You can see my heartbeat tonight. I can take the heat, baby. Best belief, that's the moment I shine. Gonna use Tal Chorus because it's free. Cause every romance shakes and it bends, don't give a damn. I need to listen to the song real quick because I'm I'm being thrown off so bad by the rhythm. Here, I need to track something. Baby, you can find me under the lights. Diamonds under my eyes. Turn the rhythm up. Don't you wanna just come along for the ride? Alright, let's add a little bit of a pluck underneath that. Baby, you can find me under the lights. Diamonds under my eyes. Turn the rhythm up. Don't you wanna just come along for the ride? I almost feel like this could have like an aces vibe and then quantize it. Something that I learned is to only quantize to 60% when I'm in Ableton because it makes it preserve timing a little bit better. Here, I'm going to use headphones just so I can hear better. <laughs> I like this. Should add a higher part. I like that almost like a little bit of like a staccato thing here. Here we go. Watch me dance, dance the night away. My heart could be burning, but you will see it on my face. Watch me. It's been a little muddy. I normally don't care about mixing stuff, but when I can't like hear anything, it just becomes kind of a mess. All right, I feel like we've got enough of a solid progression going with an instrumental. I almost want to get drums going. Sorry if I'm not talking as much as I normally do. This is actually like really fun and I'm just really in the ADHD hyper focus zone. So here, let's get a drum rack going and then get some samples loaded up. Really hard to go wrong with the, the Leno stuff. <laughs> Here, I'm going to try to get almost like uh, maybe an Aces meets I'm in love with you vibe. I love this so much. It's like dancey, but sad. I love it. By the way, Sad People Dancing uh, is an amazing album. I like that. And then let's get a little bit of a shaker. I want to add the bass last. <laughs> I love that. Listen, listen to that backbeat. I love that. That's so fun. Uh, I will add claps and effects later because I want to make sure I get the full arrangement out. I'm thinking mainly getting this first chorus and verse done. Also, let's do a little bit of a clap. Just as a, like a fun little throw. Because what we're going to do here, add this ROM hit to this one snare. Am I pitch that up a bit? Or no, I think I want a different sample. Yeah, there we go. Because here's what we're going to do. When the night's here, I don't do tears, baby, no chair. Watch me dance. Yeah. And then again, here. I could be burning, but you will see it on my face. Watch me dance. Yeah, just like a really crazy clap shot on that guy. That's fun. Dance. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this little plucky dude, which is not in the BPM that we're in. Pitch him up a little bit. This is just a loop that I made. Benjamin verb. Uh, let's get some emergence. We're just making a pad here. And then we're gonna grab this guy and just render it out and freeze it. Now with Pollock Stretch, it sounds like this. Such a cool texture, so now we're gonna render that out. 
then we can uh, actually just delete that uh, original version because now we have it rendered out in audio. EQ it a little bit. Throw it into our reverb send, and then we can just uh, sort of paste it out. And now we have a really cool pad that we can blend underneath it. I like that. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a synth bass or a live bass. I think we'll we'll do synth bass. Try something synth wave analog. I like that guy. Control that gate, maybe mess around with that. Cut off. See if that works. Turn the rhythm up, don't you wanna just yeah. come along for the ride? I like that. Lower that gate, that could be cool. Lower that, I like that. Tonight, I can take the yeah, actually I think the eight works better. What if we did, here, what if we took this one, we did an octave up, that was 16th. So like this guy. And then we did one lower. That was. That's the moment I shine. Cause every romance shakes in it. And here, let's use a little bit of track spacer. Get this higher one out of the way of that lower one, which I feel like is the more important one. Watch me. I think I want some kind of thing from Vital that I made. Perfect. Yeah, just a focused band pass on that mid-range. It's just like a little beefy mid-range boy. Up and on. Wrong note. I love that. Let's do that and then bring it up. I'm happy with how these guys are. And then put this guy here so that it ducks out of the way of the two of those because now it'll just fill in that range in between them whenever they're not playing. Yes. Focus it on here. All right, and now we're going to, there's a fly in here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. What? All right. What do I need to do to make this cool? I should save. All right. Now, I think the last one thing that I need to do is with these drums. I like them, but they need to be different in one distinct way. I did this the wrong way for so long, but what you can do is create some audio tracks, set them all to in, set them all to the drum rack, and then you can just go to each individual drum in that rack, use the post effect version, and then just lower the volume of the original rack. Watch me. See, and now we're gonna do what I think is secret sauce for most indie pop stuff, which is the gated verb. I mean, doing one of these speed videos, you just kind of have to like choose what you know is gonna work and sound good. It's a bit harder to like pressure yourself to pick something new that you've never done before. Cue that reverb. We don't have a lot of time left. I just realized that. Here, I'm gonna use VSX. Oh, that's why it would, the mix was weird because I put VSX before tonal balance. My confidence just shot up way more because it, it was pretty low a second ago. Now let's throw this guy here, side chain it to the main vocal. We can EQ this a little bit to be nicer. Bass is like the one thing that I'm super picky on and it's like the one scenario where I can't be picky on it. Okay, I think we have enough time to do, uh, do I want to do a Juno or a Phil? Frick, I can, I, here, I can do a Juno really quick. Here, uh, yes, uh, just for the chorus because that's all I have time for. Ooh, that's good. Uh, filter it a bunch. I'm not a, a fan of how it sounds right now, but I've got to just let it go. Phil, let's just find something from Splice. I, I really want to dum 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 dum. I don't care if my Dropbox is full. Uh, funk. It's a no, 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 no. Uh, synthway. Uh, hip hop, pop, EDM, funk, trap, rock. Ah. So here, I'll just try to make one. I have like that. Th that that's cool. Uh, Raymer Pie to make it sound crazier. 
Uh, almost, 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 almost. I, I don't like ringy Tom on the final mix. Uh, no, no, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. No, lower it and then raise it up to unity. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Watch me. Uh, <laughs> no. I want to make these toms so much brighter and more aggressive. All right, so uh, that's it. Um, so many things I would do differently, but here's the final track. Maybe you can find me under the lights, diamonds under my eyes. Turn the rhythm up, don't you want to just come out for the ride? Hold my outfit so tight, you can see my heartbeat tonight. I can take the heat, baby, best believe that's the moment I shine. So yeah, that's what it sounds like. Um, here, I might tweak it a little bit before I post it to like TikTok or stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, I think the vibe is there. So yeah, if you have any other songs you want me to turn into indie pop songs, uh, put them down below. See ya.